Yo, how's it going everybody? It is Mike, and today we're going to be discussing two different topics of Naruto Storm 4. Number one is the ranking system, and number two is the rage quitting. So let's just jump right into it. Okay. So guys, we already know that from Naruto Storm Revolution that the ranking system is just garbage. And I am sure that many of you agree with me. This ranking system is at most probably the hardest, hardest I've ever seen in any fighting game or any Naruto game in general to where it's almost nearly impossible to get the final rank of hero without rage quitting, cheating, hacking, or doing anything. In the past Storm games, we were able to easily with time and effort become a hero rank without any doubt of any problem. Now in Naruto Storm Revolution, if you were to fight people that were not around your rank or you had way more BP than the person, you would only receive 10 BP. Now 10 BP is pretty much nothing. So you could play a thousand matches of somebody who's not the same rank of you, but you only gain barely any BP at all. But anyways, I'm pretty sure that most of you that are here have played pretty much all the Naruto games, so you guys can understand what I'm talking about. But so now we have to ask ourselves, how is the ranking system going to be in Naruto Storm 4? Well, I was thinking that since Naruto Storm 2, when they uh, released the online mode for the Storm series, they haven't really done any achievements for becoming... The top player the highest rank you know uh, becoming hero rank so i believe for naruto storm 4 that they need to incorporate achievements of things that allow the player to unlock maybe items new costumes maybe even a new character with progress now this will introduce people to wanting to rank up wanting to become the highest rank possible for me i would love it if they were to include a new character that you can only get if you become hero rank now let's take example we'll take uh tentail madara say the only way to unlock him is of course becoming a hero rank online now this will make it a lot easier a lot more funner and people who are higher rank will have you know a brand new character that other people won't have so it will make people want it well of course bring a lot more people online now we can easily in all these storm games just go into character you know single player mode and unlock all the characters in 30 minutes to an hour that's easy maybe have some kind of a challenge and that's the perfect challenge if you ask me bring it to online or not even have that when you hit a hero rank unlock maybe a brand new costume for a certain character you know just something to bring out the lifespan of this game because many people they like to just go on online and do player matches and not even play ranked anyways because you know that's where all the tryhards are and people hate it and people rage so put something in there to where make people want to play it and become a hero but this goes on to the topic of rage quitting rage quitting is in every single fighting game on this planet <laughs> And not only that, it's in every single Storm game that has online. Now, CC2, the company of that created Naruto, has done nothing to stop it. Nothing at all. So I'm thinking for Naruto Storm 4, they should include some kind of penalty or something to where you don't want to rage quit. For example, say you get a warning like they already have. Like they already give you a warning to where if you rage quit three times, you get you know you don't get a penalty on your player card but that's not enough after those three times I believe the player should lose double the BP they would have lost and give the player that didn't disconnect the BP anyways even if they did rage quit so what do you guys think you guys think that's a good idea maybe cause the rage quitters to lose double the BP then you know they'll definitely not rage quit because they're saving you know in the first place when they rage quit they don't want to lose their BP so if they lose double, I'm pretty sure they'll think about it twice before doing so. Also, what do you guys think about my idea of when you become a hero, you unlock a secret character? Now, I know a lot of people out there are like, well, that wouldn't be fair. Or, you know, they'll have a more OP character to use. Or I would like to just unlock all the characters in 30 minutes so I can have all the characters. It's just everybody's opinion. It just really depends. But I think... There will be a lot more people wanting to play this game and try to become a hero rank if there was some kind of achievement at the end of it. 
And it doesn't have to be a character, like I said. So guys, let me know what you think about these two subjects that I just talked about. I would really like to know what you guys think. Please let me know in the comments below. And guys, don't forget to leave a like. And also, don't forget to stay sexy. I love y'all. Take care. Peace.